Conflict in South Sudan is a manifestation of a lack of leadership. It is not because we are an infant, but, but because there was no direction and no leadership. That's why uh, people were quiet. So uh, we need, in Africa, we need to define power and the leadership. If you see the problem of, uh, of wealth sharing, power sharing has not been defined in, 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 in the Sudan. Because what, that's why Dr. John was talking about our problem in, in the Sudan is double apartheid. It's, uh, it's religion and it is racism and it is also economic. Widow of former South Sudan leader John Garang Dimabior, Mama Rebecca Garang is now appealing to the international community to be steadfast in impressing upon the South Sudan government to release the 11 detainees who have been held since December the 15th last year. Because he has not seen that there is a connection of release of these people and what is going on in the field. But if he were to make a decision to release these people, the situation would have been very different. But we were using the tools of democracy because there was no constitution which will protect us. But the tools of democracy, that you speak uh, your mind and you, say, you, you state the truth. She said the genesis of the conflict was as a result of a lack of trust between the leaders and the governed. And while expressing optimism that an applicable solution will be found to the festering conflict, Rebecca Garang urged regional countries not to take sides in the conflict, adding that the presence of the Uganda People's Defense Forces in South Sudan is complicating matters. As a Christian, you must always be optimistic. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't think negatively. And in our situation, um, this is not the first time. During the struggle, we had the same situation, similar situation that you hear people are talking 1991. It was a similar situation. So the question would be, if we go to a cessation of hostility, the cessation, cessation of hostility would be for those who have picked up arms on the opposition side and then the government. What about Uganda now? Where will Uganda be? This is the question now. Rebecca's plea comes at a time when the government has taken control of the key town of Bor, the first major town to fall in the hands of rebel forces. The Igad member states Ethiopia and Kenya are spearheading peace negotiations currently going on in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. A believer and somebody who is always optimistic, I would say that the second chance of uh, Addis Ababa uh, negotiation uh, is very good and we have to take it up. Uh, with the mediation of the